Welcome to the Trucker Josh vlog page, where you can follow me and my best friend Diesel day by day as we travel across all of Canada and the United States. This is real reality TV coming at you on YouTube. Hit that subscribe button and follow our journey. Morning folks, we just delivered our steel to Saskatoon and we're headed up to Meadow Lake, Saskatchewan. Pick up some lumber, we're taking that lumber to Niverville, Manitoba. Trying to rush it there so we can bring another load of steel back here to Saskatoon and get back home for the weekend. Because our Christmas starts this weekend. Let's see if I can get out of here, it's a very tight spot they got me in here. They did not make this construction site for trucks, apparently, which is odd. Construction sites are usually, you know, filled with trucks. At least I thought so. Just barely squeaked her out there. All right, to Meadow Lake. It's not even that cold right now. I think it's, it's close to freezing point, about zero Celsius. But the nighttime gets pretty cold already. I mean, it is towards the end of December. You're watching this video around Christmas time, I guess. Merry Christmas. January is when it gets coldest here on the prairies. The last two weeks of January and the first two weeks of February, I've always found those to be the coldest months out here, where it gets down to minus 30 and minus 50 with the wind chill almost every day. Well, this is odd. The scale west of Saskatoon is open. This is never a good sign. When Saskatchewan opens their scales, that means they are inspecting trucks. That's the only reason I've ever seen them open before. They don't want to just see your weight like a lot of scales. Nuh uh. They want to see everything. So let's see if we can sneak through here. We got the lights flashing off to the right. Trucks over 10,000 kg, report to inspection station when lights flashing. You could just say trucks over 20,000 pounds, like, you know, a normal person, because everybody speaks in pounds. But no, 10,000 kg, if you know what that is. What are we, Europeans or something? This is Canada, we speak in pounds. Try and tell our government that. Try and tell our government anything, they don't listen. All right, let's get in here. Hopefully we don't get pulled in. Diesel, put on your best smiley face, okay? You too, Chevy. Not too smiley though, then they'll think you're growling at them. Don't do that. All right, look happy. Shouldn't be hard, you're always happy. Put on your best game face. Put on your game face, guys. Diesel, I'm serious. really don't want to be inspected today. I got nothing to hide. I just don't have the time for that. Ain't no one got time for that. I'm surprised they don't got a whole lineup of trucks here. Maybe they are just checking weights today. I'm actually empty. I should be in the right-hand lane, I think. There we go. I'm just going to stop by the window there so that they see me. I don't want to act like I'm sneaking behind this bison truck here because they still want to see my decals or my decals as you Americans say this guy's taking forever though hello you don't have to go that slow over the scale I'm just going to give him a little wave here sure if they don't want me to come in.
guess I could have gone over the scale, it doesn't really matter. Usually when you're empty though, they want you to take the right hand lane. They're not chasing after me, so I guess I didn't upset them too much. Their vehicles there were running and ready to go. I don't think I could outrun them. We can try though. Probably not a good idea though. I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not, but to the left on the top of that hill, there's a lighthouse. In Saskatchewan, a lighthouse. Now that's not something you see every day. And there's a staircase leading up to it. What? Why is there a lighthouse in Saskatchewan? <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay. Cool. Looks like a functioning one too. Just in case there's another great flood. We got you covered here in Saskatchewan. What is this? Cadrain, Saskatchewan, or is it Glassland? Cadrain. See, they always have the town name up on these grain elevators. Do they still use these things, these grain elevators? I think so. Right. Pretty crazy. A lot of lumber yards around here. We're not going to this town. We're going a little further north, an hour north from here to Meadow Lake. Saskatchewan. We're getting up into that part of the province where it's all uh, wooded, all forest, all bush. That's why there's so many lumber yards here. I always wonder where all these lumber yards get their wood from, you know? You never see their clearings, like where they've cut down a whole bunch of trees. And I believe most lumber yards, they actually plant more trees than they cut down. But I don't know that for a fact. That's what I've been told. Who knows? Look at these guys. They've got tarped lumber. Ha ha. I don't have to tarp my lumber. Ha ha. Ha ha. You had to tarp your lumber. I shouldn't laugh at them. I don't have to tarp any loads until after the new year. Oh, that reminds me. I'm supposed to create. Oh, I got to make an appointment for this truck to get safety this month yet. Ah, poopers, goopers, totally forgot about that. Shoot. Now I gotta do it tomorrow. Oh wait, it's only three o'clock, I can do it now. There's a driver behind me pulling an empty flatbed. There's only one place up here where he could be going and it's the same place as me. So I really don't want him to pass me because then he's gonna get in front of me in line. And I think he's thinking the same thing about me. And I think he wants to get past me so that he could be in front of me in line. Nuh uh, I'm first. My truck can't go any faster though. I am doing the speed limit too. I probably shouldn't push it, but better stay behind me. Because <laughs> if he gets there before me, then I gotta wait for him to get loaded before I get loaded. That's unacceptable. I wanna go home for Christmas. I bet you he, well, so maybe he doesn't celebrate Christmas. Maybe he's one of those drivers that doesn't celebrate Christmas. Why don't you celebrate Christmas? What's wrong with you? It's Christmas. Boggles my mind when people come to me and like, oh, I don't celebrate Christmas. Excuse me? You don't what? Like, yeah, it's a religious holiday and I celebrate it as a religious holiday, but it's also a cultural holiday. I mean, you come to Canada, we celebrate Christmas here. What are you doing here if you don't celebrate Christmas? String some lights up, put up a tree in your house. Come on, it's Christmas. No? I got I got off on a total rabbit trail there, didn't I? I hope he stays behind me. He's got a, oh, it's a Super B too. We're going around the corner. Oh, he's got two trailers, which means I'd have to get, wait for him to get all tied down. Uh-uh, no, me first. I believe this is North Battleford, Saskatchewan. This is where the Fords had their battle, north of the river, so they called it North Battleford. I'm pretty sure that's what the story goes, or how it goes, I don't know. I'd have to double check on my history. I'm pretty sure that that's actually, you know, now that I think about it, I'm pretty sure that's a lie. I'm pretty sure that's not true. So oh, hey there, Mr. Fancy Ford in North Battleford. Maybe you should park off the street. 
this lane really isn't big enough for a semi truck to pass by these parked vehicles. How do I get through town? Where am I going? I have no idea. I have a load of lumber on me right now. Have I told you yet? I don't think I told you. We're pretty heavy, not too heavy. Just heavy enough. Got to deliver to Niverville. And uh, we've had some not so good developments at home that have sort of changed my plans a little bit. Frankie is deteriorating. Oh, I don't want to use that word. That's a pretty bad word. Frankie's not doing so well. The I'll just keep the camera facing forward so you can sort of see the town I'm driving through. He's uh, getting worse, actually. <clears throat> and our, the treatments aren't having the effect we wanted them to. And on top of this, uh, Britt's dad also uh, is in the hospital right now. Nothing too serious by the sounds of it, but serious enough to get us concerned, you know. You're always concerned when a family member has to visit the hospital. He'll be okay. But uh, I've asked work if they can find someone else to deliver my second Saskatoon load for me so that I can be with my wife. Uh, she's had an awful week. She's had to deal with Frank in such a bad condition. Plus now her dad having to visit the hospital. It's, it's been a really rough week for her and I think I just need to be home with her a couple days earlier than planned. So, and we'll see what they what they come up with and if they are able to find someone to deliver that load for me. If not, I can still deliver it. I'm not going to leave them hanging with the load. But uh, that, that's the plan now. I'm sort of going through a little dead area of town. This guy's going so slow. Why am I still following him? Let's go around him. Crazy Toyota. That's not the speed limit. This is what the speed limit looks like. Yeah, it's definitely North Battleford. I just don't usually come through this direction. That's why I wasn't too sure where I was. That's a yellow light. There, there it is. It's red. Red means stop. I hate red lights. I really don't like them. I hate the strong word, but I'm going to use it. I hate red lights, especially when I'm in the left lane with my truck. That's embarrassing. Five minutes left on my clock. Oh, dear. And there's the truck stop coming up ahead there. We're in Davidson, Saskatchewan. Got to get this rig part. Oh, four minutes now. Oh, right on. Okay. We are cutting her close today. So we got the Flying J off here on the right. We have the Esso truck stop on the left. I think I'm going to go into the Esso truck stop just because the lot is bigger. That I don't have to worry about not finding a parking spot and uh, running out of time. But I have four minutes to get in that lot and park. We're pulling in, we're pulling in. It's bumpy, but I can't go too slow because I've only got three minutes left. Oh dear, I only got a Timmy's here. Dairy Queen, you stay right there. Wait, me first. I'm on a time clock. Two minutes left. Okay. Okay, we can do this. We can do this here. Okay then, all right. Okay. I think I'm gonna park right back here. It's pretty full. Yep, I'm gonna park right back here behind this grain hauler. Perfect. Looks good to me. Wow, that was close. We're at one minute left right now. One minute left, one second, one second. I just gotta mark that I'm here. The trip is over, and one minute left, and we are in the sleeper berth. Check this out. Check this out. One minute remaining. <laughs> There's no cutting it any closer than that. Before we get started, I want to give a quick shout out to Transportation Nation Network. I have partnered with them to bring you the best in trucking entertainment and trucking news on the web. Go to their website, transportationnation.com, and you will find that it is your one-stop shop for everything trucking. There's a lot of great trucking shows and entertainment there as well. 
I encourage you to go, sign up on their website, and subscribe to their shows so you don't miss any. I hope to see you there. Link is down below in the description.